Skriver 37. Consciousness-based education, CBE. TM in schools. Research in consciousness is good for all men. Then us simply us. We need some neither transcend. No stress shall ever be allowed to accumulate in students. All knowledge abides within the student. What is the purpose of life? Education is puny without its basis. Knowledge is structured in consciousness. Intelligence, intellect, creative skills, ingenuity, well-being are worthier than the great training for the jobs which the workaholics claim to be the most essential in life. The quest for knowledge is in us as Ode Milivier. Prakritim svam avarsla pia vishuridiami puna puna. Dinungagab is svinnur, intelligence, emotion. Thagatl o hugatl svinnur, silent and mindful intelligence. Thagatl o hugatl we consider to be princely. Dynamic silence moving within itself, idandi moving, singularity. The gap, consciousness, spurs creations by curving within itself. Again and again I create, but consciousness does not change a bit by that. Ginoga gap is the realm of no change, does not even partake in creating. Aloof from creation, nothing is but ginoga gap, consciousness. Everywhere in nature we see gain better results by doing less. This we achieve by cooling the mind off and let mother nature work for us. This could be a bit difficult for us to comprehend. Some might protest, of course I get more money f from more or better work. But look at the brook, how it chooses the easiest way from the mountain to the ocean. Economy also teaches us the law of less profit if we overdo things. Health gurus tell us to take better care of ourselves, never to become sick. Physics teaches us how materia flows and floats when cooled to the lowest and how overheating excites and ruins. Only by quietening the mind, our skills will have the opportunity to blossom. The nourishment comes to it in the least excited state. By working from Tivatun, Ragnar Sjöd, a boat of the laws of nature, the profound sphere of all possibilities, which is everywhere, man is powerful. On the plane of created Ungnis phenomena, thought is weak. The pure and profound man makes only right choices. It saves a lot of time and energy never to make mistakes. We see too much cost due to men's mistakes, so-called educated men, no exception. It is not human to err. Humans should not ever err, need not err. Those who make mistakes are not pure men, in other words, not men. Education needs to be in a manner that no one ever makes mistakes. It is the easiest thing in the world to have such education for all men. Do we have any research on CPE, something to prove it to be beneficial? Comprehensive scientific research on brain functioning and grades in schools, EEG, proven signs of students blossoming in daily life, even heightened IQ which was not considered to be so easy, harmony and dynamic silence within the student and in the schools, problem-free schools, imagine to be a teacher when there is no bullying, achievements of students in Maharishi schools in whatever subject, so they are called super kids in whatever they wish to do. How the Trinity, student, studying, the studied, soon becomes oneness. Vedic study is delightful. Studying should never be boring. Then there is no fun. Life is truly only bliss. Expansion to love him and in human life is the only right thing to do. No effort is needed. Effort only spoils the flow and the joy. It is very tiring to be tired. Neither in work nor studying should tiredness be allowed. No stress should ever accumulate in students. Repeat it. Better achievements by doing less, nature's way of doing things. When we allow our mind to cool to zero, note that we only give mind that optimal opportunity to reach least excitement. Mother nature starts working for us, man becomes just and powerful. We clear out our so-called subconsciousness, all will be accessed by our mind. We will detect thought on its deepest level long before it reaches the surface. Pictures from the book Riff, an elf story available on Amazon. Now we reach the real waking state, that is being awake along with the awakened silence of deeper spheres. The bliss within, solar, sila, ananda, unboundedness, why it is the of consciousness, we have access to all there is within ourselves. Enjoy the dynamism and orderliness of Ginnukagab in our daily life. And all this begins to be the normal functioning of our brain's activity. Brain functioning now becomes normal, the only that can Bear the name normal for a man. All less than perfection is abnormal and causes lots of trouble. TM is the best for ADHD burns, hyperactive and lack focusing on studying, which might occur as the prefrontal brain, CEO, is out of function due to stress. 
Stress inhibits studies, concentration, focusing, memory, well-being of the student. And imaginably wonderful to sit down to the quiet time in school. For all students, not only the ADHD ones, a marvel. CPE is not interdisciplinary. It is the basis of all education, all subjects in the world. To Nisa Snyder, transcend is the basic need for all students. Rather, the foundation for all there is in life. Now we start using talents that are here, only sleepy, as we do not use them. They have fallen asleep and dulled because we never used them. We might not even know about all the endowments we possess. When they blossom, first then we might see them. Now our brain functioning becomes that of correlation. We make use of faculties we didn't even know of. Latent talents in us blossom in school, in work, in play, in sports, in life. Our brain is a wonderful organ. Naturally, as we are in the image of Kinugagab, its orderliness is everywhere. We should take care of our brain, give it a chance of profound rest, also use it and make it apt. So we have the silence of Ayer and the activity of Ayer. We can, as we are Ayer. Rational contemplation is the task of prefrontal brain. Fear stands for rational action, understanding right and wrong, discrimination of the task at hand. For that we need to be stress-free. Amygdala, tear, should not be in fight-flight response. We have to wake up from what the ignorant call waking, that unclear stage, what the enlightened see as dromi and leidingur. Mind seeks silence and bliss by its own nature when the unified field technique is applied correctly. Mind becomes most subtle and the least excited on the profound levels where the sutra threats make ripples on consciousness. Consciousness is everywhere at once, timeless, unbounded. Parents learn TM City Sutra, which train mind to work from pure consciousness. Mind gains the profound rest when we practice TM. From that silence, mind is trained in the art of perceiving the emerging of thought, the source of thought. No stress may ever be in parents. Where from comes thought? Do we have any idea? We might detect it first when it has come to the surface of mind, aware of it. It starts on levels deep in consciousness. We might not be aware of it then. Mind gets a train to find the source of thought, to think from that level, detect thought before it is appreciated on the surface of thinking mind. Only the perfect thought will now be allowed. We become pure enough to throw away all which is not in the flow with thund. Jesus knows that terms understand, as heaven is theirs, they innocently perceive Jesus is the enlightened one, and he speaks about the life of the enlightened, from the perspective of the enlightened. We shall understand when we ourselves get enlightened. Till then we can desperately try to live and love as the enlightened one naturally does. Satyuka is coming up, now there will be born men who understand. They have reached far on their evolutionary path, and know what is the only necessary. Marvelous literature, which I recommend. A complete book of yogi flying. At the age of 15 to 16 years, students learn the yogi flying, which is known to correlate brain waves. As we become spiritually more evolved, understanding comes. Our brains become more apt. The whole brain works in correlation, not only one special swear at a time. Thought becomes sharper and focused, as it comes from the fully awake within itself. Tivatun. Reaction and the right choices come quickly, even IQ is heightened. To the left, stress response of the animal stage. To the right, prefrontal brain clear. Our senses become refined when we reach higher stages of consciousness. The fog and the numbness disappear. Our world blossoms in our mind. No stress should ever accumulate in students. Elf story riff. The crude men might find it normal to have crude senses. So as they see it, that is okay. For them, that is the normal. They do not know what it is like to be pure, but sin knows. When we can compare these two, pure and crude, we know how things have changed. When filth has left us and we live purity, we will learn to understand, use our senses and our brain to reason and contemplate. Understanding and reasoning is the most precious capacity of man. Live the dynamic silence as we are it when practicing our TM. We do research in consciousness, which is effortless and spontaneous art of gaining knowledge deep within. 
We now understand the difference between right and wrong actions, which has not been so flawless since we threw ourselves out of the animal state of that famous fence of paradisos. Now all is a synchronized whole, referring only to itself, connected to all subjects. In nature's phenomena, correlation and harmony are to be found. Iron to magnet, mode and magni correlated, sons of Thor. Laser beam is also a man-made correlation. We cannot see on a man with stays of consciousness he lives, but we can measure how brains perform. Not all men are equally intelligent, nor are we equally enthusiastic, but CPE develops our innate qualities, intelligence and IQ to peak performance. In Mars schools, and in school which add quiet time that is TM to the curriculum, progress can be seen for each student. The student becomes ever pure, stress-free. Many old schools, some of which have bullying problems, implement the TM, take a few minutes of each lesson and use them for the quiet time, TM. It is practiced in the morning and again in the afternoon after school has finished. The joy of learning, the fun to be at school, is now replacing boredom. Enthusiasm and efficiency, problem solving and solutions bloom. The only trouble that we get is that students do not want to leave. Mars schools and those who have implemented TM offer us to experience the fourth stage of consciousness, that is Nisa Nidr, in our own consciousness. This practice gradually leads to the fifth, sixth and seventh states of consciousness, bringing health and happiness. Happiness, health, wholeness is the only right state of any man. If students from preliminary school to PhD are exposed to stress all the time, there is something drastically wrong with our educational system. Stress has no right to be. No student should ever accumulate stress. Stress is bad for progress, well-being, health and the studies. World is structured in layers. Students in Mahasi schools love finding out that within each one there are still others, deeper, more profound, which we can find and work on. School is fun. Every day we gain deeper understanding. Bands love to find knowledge within. All is one whole, including them. This is all joy. The student is consciousness. All knowledge is found within. They find out that they are the intelligence and the knowledge. The real purpose is that we are searching for ourselves, within ourselves, and see the purpose of everything we do. The material is great, either given projects or made by the students, where everything is connected to the wholeness of all. Students blossom, find ever greater truth within all. The student doesn't see things from outside, but from within. The student is not outside of things, he is all, and sees all from within now. The main emphasis is on how every student feels. The student is the main component in the trinity, student, studying, the studies. Students see that all is possible, all can be done with least effort. All things are interesting and they grow in their aboundedness. All possibilities abide inside all men. Gradually from kindergarten to PhD all becomes easier, purer, as everyone finds his own nature, silence, dynamism, talents. Longings and desires are fulfilled. No information or knowledge is worth anything unless it be grounded in its own origin, Ginnungagap. Our system of education has been baseless learning, effort and struggle, and worst of all, schools are the cause of accumulated stress in students. Even if the teacher is good and the student intelligent, students have gotten their nervous system full of stress. It should not be so. Ginnungagap consciousness and Odin Delivier as student studying the studies have not been understood by the old education systems. Even if science has long ago found Hilbert space operators or observables states in the unified field of total natural law, nobody knew that we are studying ourselves. They didn't know that we are not the material world which our eyes see, but the universal consciousness. Science could not actually make use of its findings until Maharshi brought the pure knowledge to us and pointed out that we need to do research in consciousness also. Not only study Ungnir in the world and the cute little bits of matter energy. Now every student finds all the knowledge within himself. How each student feels is our main concern. Studies have been on the sphere of mind, intellect, results, accomplishments, understanding intellectually, remember, learn by heart, apply info. All have hoped to produce efficient and clever workers when time allowed. I doubt if kindergartens are for burns. 
Might it be for working parents? In Maharishi schools, five-year-old parents learn a walking mantra. Younger parents enjoy the peace and bliss their parents and teachers gain by using TM. How about the antiquity, available in English too on Amazon? Imprinting is all over the place. That a good job, good rank or post, good salaries, money is freedom. Actually, these achievements can backfire if the nervous system is full of stress. Even in the first years of school, stress starts to accumulate in parents. Dangerous to focus on work. Work is not the purpose of life, as good as work is and fun in its own way. Competition, make it, be the best, becomes a motto, an unseen pecking order. The hidden curriculum where the unwritten code is buried. Make it, make it, look forward to the thraldom of work when the thraldom of school ends. Only then we shall have money and fun. Do students learn anywhere why they have chosen to be born as humans? The trinity in CPE is, Odin, he who knows, is the student who seeks in the student's consciousness, wants to know, our innate curiosity, we are looking for something. Will is to study the will which connects the student's consciousness and that which is known, of course consciousness, now as in the mood of seeking. Vie, that which is known, what we study, that is in sight, is in consciousness. Hitherto, vie, the material, has overshadowed, attention sick, hides the others. Such partial and fragmented education is a burden for the student. Such systems are worn out, old-fashioned, sheer ignorance. Consciousness-based you shall now replace the old. CPE makes studying easy, delightful, joyful. No stress will accumulate, old stress dissolves. Teachers are happy and pure too. Odin and Vili have to be, and the foundation of all study is the student. Odin, the student, and Vili, to study, are two-third parts of the knowledge in Trinity. That Trinity which hides Ginnungagap consciousness. And on top of that floor, VA hides for the ignorant ones, Odin and Vili. Maharishi Vitya Mandir Vedic Science and Technology is what grounds all knowledge in consciousness. In consciousness, all knowledge abides, always has always been. The Trinity, student, to study, the studied, has to make a whole. Trinity should not be brought out of balance, as to take one out, leave two out. That yields ignorance ever more partial and fragmented when the approach is so wrong. We have to admit that fragmented education is the cause of mistakes. Both so-called educated men, as well as those who hold no degrees, make mistakes. We see that all around us, we are a bit embarrassed and ashamed. We see drastic misuse of education too. Men abuse their education for lousy purposes. Fragmented education not only makes stress in students, Stress, the great enemy of the student, is also the enemy of the workers. School environment should be pure and relaxed, both for the benefit of students and for the teachers. That which damages the nervous system instead of purifying it is completely useless as education. No stress should ever accumulate in students. Only that which teaches us to live the swear of all possibilities effortlessly can be an in education in our times. When student is under pressure, or not at ease in school or in other circumstances, but boys bullying on the way to school or on the way home, even quarrelling parents at home, and or class overwhelming, parents want us to be the best to get a good job later, parents indifferent and not supportive, the prefrontal brain is not in its optimal functioning. We take to fight or flight response the animal reaction. The CEO frontal brain is working non-stop all the time, hard to grasp how it can cope with these multiple tasks. When we are under pressure, our prefrontal brain is not functioning optimally. Animals need speed to fight or flee. We do not. What saved our life then is killing us now. Adrenaline. Under occasional stress, brain malfunctions. Under constant stress, the CEO ends up by shutting down permanently. Thereby goes the most precious human attribute down the drain. Superficial fun can be stressful. It might not be any joy at all, noise only. The real bliss is purifying. We need to visit Gladheimar within to enjoy real joy. <laughs> we should enjoy silence. We change the stuff. Senses bring gunger to the brain. Mind is insatiable. The stuff should not become a refuge as we lack something that we do not know what is. When we get to know what it is, the aha comes, the inner bliss. 
The course of anger is our out-of-control ratio gun. Anger ends up in shutting down our intellect. It will be out of order. We cannot blame stuff nor surroundings. Be without a tree guna occasionally. That is a part of the perfect education for all. See to it that no stress is in schools. That we easily do by making all perms pure. Human brain is a marvel, our most precious jewel. How is yours functioning? Education now will be beneficial to our parents. All parents super kids, everyone can blossom. The knower, the student, Odin, the process of finding knowledge, really, the known, VA. We gain complete overview and complete understanding, all found in our own consciousness. My book's available on Amazon. Consciousness-based education eliminates stress. All accumulated imbalances disappear. No new stress is loaded in. The knower Odin Rishi. The process of gaining knowledge, Veli, Devata, the known, Vie, Chandas, is the trinity. Gets closer to becoming one, the finer we become. On the surface, things look divided. In reality, there is no division. Note, all parents should learn in their mother tongue. This chart I translated to Icelandic for the Icelandic terms. Vaikari, Matyama, Pashanti, Para, which is Atma, is the whiteness of Gladheimar. As mind becomes least excited, our whole physiology relaxes. Stress knots get released and depart into thin air. We live on the surface among the daughters of Raun, but we need not be shallow. We can be as deep as Ayir. We are Ayir and need to show up in our own feast. Before, during, after. <laughs> surface thoughts. Simply become profound as Ayir. No stress should ever be in students. Filth is against the purpose of life. Sin wants all men to be pure. Worst thing to happen is that school violates the very purpose of life, purity. Blossoming and expansion is the way of life. We are on our way to Valhall. Now we have to spread the knowledge once it has come down to us. Those who take care of education need some special care from us. We are on our way to Glathemar. All art students need the profundity. They should work from the profundity. Art is not surface values. Art should bring the profundity to our eyes and ears. The goal of education is clear-minded individuals in a flawless society. Thoughts need to be in harmony, the whole brain working synchronized. Make all men better men. We find layer after layer of knowledge ever deeper within ourselves. Man should live his glavheimer in everything. Enjoy the beauty of the world, knowing what man's life is for. With joy and understanding, we work for the whole society. Education can be in a way to make us all healthy and happy. Now we go for that. We need to take right decisions always. We do when we think and act from the perfection of Tiva Tun. We create our mind and we can keep it growing all our life. Our brain is a wonder. See Alaric Arnander and his research. Abundance for all men is what we want. Pure joy is the only acceptable. Queer er a Jacob, also in English, who is Jacob. If you are learning Icelandic, you should practice on reading my books. On Amazon search Freyu I have written many little books for the schools. CPE is my delight now. TM is proven for benefits. Better use of our brain, stress-free nervous system, clear and effortless thinking, more profound understanding, greater creativity, initiative and joy. We learn to work from a level more profound than the senses, more profound than thoughts, deeper than rational thinking. Even deeper, deeper than intuition, which is a very delicate faculty of man. We learn to work from reality, being, the unified field, consciousness. The universe functions perfectly in that way. We should too. The brook always runs down slope to air. As I see it, it is clever. We learn that the outcome is greater than our research and hypothesis we have. The whole is larger than all the components we research. Components are parts, the whole is all, bigger than the part. Even all parts together are smaller than the whole. For every subject we do research and have hypothesis. Now we connect every subject to the whole, the oneness, which they all are in essence. Old ways disconnected, CPE ways. We do research in consciousness, connect to the whole. All is here, all is ours. 
We go inwards to find out that knowledge is like an onion. We find layer after layer get closer and closer to, to what? What is the core and where is it? Layer after layer of we, we are really searching and looking for until we find all it ourselves seeking knowledge. Seeking, Ginnungagap, the knowledge abides here. We wanting to know Odin, will to seek Vili, finding the knowledge sought for Vie, who hides his brothers, the two third of the whole game. They three have the habit of hiding reality from us by this seeking game. We find out, because we knee some neither, transcend twice daily in school and at home, with mom and dad in weekends and summer holidays, that all the time we are consciousness. That the knowledge, Vie, that we, by our curiosity, Odin, seek and want to find, really, is a consciousness. Pure consciousness, what all is. We begin with wholeness, study components, connect them to wholeness. The result is that every student is he who owns the knowledge and accesses it within. This comes for education in the art of finding whatever within. This is very rewarding, gives joy, gives self-confidence. I am all, understand all. As a byproduct, he who works from consciousness cannot do anything wrong. All is flawless. We connect bits of knowledge phenomena that we want to do research on to the wholeness of knowledge. We want scientific whole knowledge, not fragmented. Prakritim swam avastapya visurijami puna puna. I curve within my own nature and send forth, create again and again. Krishna says, this is what we do and should do. From where would all come? First, the scientist, and the student also, comes up with facts in the world of matter, also brings up some reliable predictions of the phenomenon. This we find in all school books. Two, in the interaction of hypothesis and research, the scientist, the student, finds ever more profound laws of nature, not fully, though, in this stage, he understands their overall effects when applied. In this way, we understand the subject we study. Three. In our fourth stage of consciousness, reached by TM, to Nisas Nidr, in the unity of individual consciousness and universal consciousness, the unified field of total natural law is to be found. This we call researching consciousness. Automatically, the order and knowledge gets infused into the waking stage of this living individual. He becomes ever wiser. No effort needed, all is spontaneous. This is what our forefathers call Nema Uthimbrunir and Stinna Stavi. Here we find the project we research, our theme connected to the experience of our innermost nature. We realize that we see things better and better from our own consciousness. For the whole moving within itself, we already know what that is, right? Now the scientist, the student, begins to be grounded, ni sta, in that, in unboundedness, eternity, pure consciousness, tan nista. He begins to see, understand its natural law on the swear of their origin, Ragnarsjöt Tivatun, the abode of our gods, Ragn Rein. What is more, he starts finding them, it's one of them, as a spur and stimuli and happenings in his own consciousness. Science of consciousness automatically supports balance and progress in the culture of nations. Now the phenomenon, or phenomena, are perceived of from pure consciousness, from the most subtle and supreme states of human consciousness. It is a wholeness moving within itself, self-sufficiency, pure knowledge. Back to one, the scientist, and the student also, comes up with facts in the world of matter, also brings up some reliable predictions of the phenomenon. Now all is more profound than in the beginning. We start with wholeness, go into details, connect them to the whole. Now the scientist and the student remembers and hereby reminds himself of that all in life, all subjects to study, all research material, are Ginnungagap, his own consciousness. He finds that all there is, is his own consciousness. Cycle after cycle, one, two, three, four, and understanding becomes ever more profound, ever clearer. We see that we are consciousness, and all is here within, when we go to number one again. This is the allegory of Runatal Hauvamala, Nemum, Freibumst. Froth vera. We didn't understand until Marjiji told us what it means. No subject of study could be if it were not for the harmonizing order of Raun, which the laws of nature bring to the world, all in Ginnungagap. Now we simply live the swear on which they abide. Now we are in control. Education is for us 
to better be able to have secure standing in the world and to gain control over some technique to apply in order to reach our set goal, especially when it has been scientifically proven to work perfectly. Here we have what makes education rise under the name education, never any mistakes made. If you would like to know the worth of human life, then we look to the science of how the universe functions, as we and the universe are in pattern and image, a pocket edition of the total potential, Ginunga Gap. The student gains experience of the presence of Ginunga Gap. Every student learns intellectually also about the laws of nature and understands that every subject is directly connected, hoofed or bent, to the infinite organizing power, as all is that. And the student now understands that it is human consciousness. The school and the surroundings are completely stress-free, wholesome rules and regulations, correct sattva food, the right kungnir in pure food, all communication flawless. The schools are constructed according to Stapatyavet architecture. Our solar system and its energy is supportive in all ways. Teachers and students who work here are connected to all. Stapatyavet means supportive houses, expansion of consciousness. Every six-year-old bern has faculties evolved enough its brain to understand everything in the universe and to understand that in that way too our own existence functions. The organizing power of Inugagab is in us all. The purpose of education is the same as the purpose of man's life, to enlighten. The goal of life is to reach Valhöll. The purpose of education is that we reach Valhöll. Then education really is beneficial to life and makes life easy. Education should be to make everything easy for us, right? It is not human to err. We need never make mistakes. We imbibe the perfect orderliness into our life. All we do is perfect. Now we understand the purpose of all education, as without connection to consciousness, man is a mere dictionary. Education then based less should be consciousness-based education. When we become pure, it is easy to fulfill wishes. We wish all good for everyone. We need to understand why we choose to live on earth. Education should inform us, and education should bring purity to us. Correlating thoughts bring the free of charge pleasure to be joyful, that inner everlasting joy, Gladheimer. It will shine onto our little worldly happinesses. Bring free of charge pleasure of rational and right thinking, performing only what is right, really pleasant, as we now live in harmony with Gwyddin, presidents of natural law. We live in flow and harmony with the whole. We now only bring benefits, never harm. Our actions and thoughts evolutionary. A group of us practicing together, TM City and Yogic Flying, affects the surroundings. Our thoughts are in the space and the timeless everywhere. The famous scientifically proven Maharshi effect, creating coherence and harmony at the collective level of nations. Global country. First now we can bear the name man. Stupid man's statement, to err is human, is an error. There is no excuse for erring. We are not properly educated if we destroy our surroundings. Education implies, do only the correct. All is perfect in nature. She never does anything wrong. Round eyes is her inbuilt organizing power. When we think from pure consciousness, we will never upset mother nature. We shall understand runa tal of Havamal. Easiest is to do everything in flow and accord with the laws of nature. Eden signifies to perpetually nisa neither, results in finnbull runes, dinner stafir, nýju galdra góðir, ljóðin, the practical. Epli Edenar, apples of Eden, are immortality. We are brai, the seeing bard. They are not skald, fíbla hlutur, sér for fools. Her apples are ambrosia. Our knowledge does not come or go. It is here. Only we wake up from ignorance. All my books on Amazon, Fluga, also in English translation, The Fly. The knowledge belongs to all men. We nourish it, and thereby we give a gift to the whole world. We shall live the core, not the wrappings. Pure knowledge abides in sight. All small is to tell you what our forefathers handed over to us. Priceless wisdom hidden in a nut for many years. Now we irrigate the barren soil, give the nut a kiss of love. We invite the supreme knowledge in school nowadays. Change water to wine, the divine flow. Gudrun Dimblau, my teacher Maharshi, Indian physicist and enlightened man, points out to us where to find the knowledge and the understanding, and he teaches us the technique to transcend knees and neither. Best of time, Maharshi, my great teacher. Maharshi asked for this research on our fortnessy to be undertaken. We should look to our own traditions.